What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sean Wave, and I'm back at y'all with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why you guys aren't progressing in your crown area. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So when it comes to the topic of the crown, there could be a list of factors that can stop you from progressing in your crown area. I'm going to be talking about the main thing that's affecting your crown area. The main reason why you aren't progressing in your crown is you guys aren't with your crown long enough. Now, I know some of you out there are thinking, well, Sean Waves, I go on eight week wolves, I go on 10 week wolves, you know? Why am I still not progressing my crown? I do wolf my crown. And eh, wrong. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not the wolf I'm, I'm talking about. The wolf I'm talking about is not touch your crown for six months at the very least. And the reason why I say not to touch your crown for six months at the very least is you need to let your crown grow in and get to its curl length. Now, the reason most people have trouble with their crown is their crown grows slower than the rest of their hair. They don't realize it. It may look like it's actually longer than what it really is, but it's really not that long and it hasn't reached curl length. So you basically have to go six months at the very least without trimming, without doing anything to your crown, except for brushing it in the direction that you want your crown to go, be it beehive or a swirl direction. And the reason why I say this is because I've actually been going through this for like the past year. I did a semi scalp in July of 2018. And since then, I've been trying to go back to a more uniform 360 pattern. Everything has been going well. Everything's been coming in except for my crown. And it's, it's basically, I, I gotta say, it, it's a rookie mistake because it's something that I know I should have been doing, but I wasn't doing. It wasn't until a few weeks ago when I was on the Facebook pages. And my man Ellis, shout out to you, Ellis, because you dropped this gem. He said that. For you to get a good crown, you have to at least whoop your crown for six months without touching it. And that's at the very least. If you can go longer, go longer. So basically when he said that, it just made everything click in my head. Because there was a time where I had a very dope crown. And the reason why my crown was so good is I whooped my crown for about nine months. I just went in. I didn't care about anything else. I was just whooping my crown. Of course, I was doing my regular normal whoops and cutting down. But every time it came to a haircut, I would never touch my crown. And my crown finally reached curl length and it was able to wave up and my crown looked dope. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to show you guys some photos of when I had a dope crown. And I'm going to show you all the progression on how I got my crown to look the way it looks in the thumbnail. So this first picture is probably about 2013, maybe 2014. I really don't remember. But in this picture is like when I first really started seriously brushing again and I was going for a swirl pattern. In this picture, you can see I have everything laid. I have a few waves at the top, but nothing in my crown area. But the goal was to get my crown laid in the direction that I want my waves to go. This next picture is about maybe eight to 10 weeks after that previous picture that I just showed you all. And as you guys can see, I have waves around the rest of my hair, you know. You can see from the top and the sides and even in the back but my crown area, there's no waves there. And the reason why there are no waves there is I got a haircut. I cut my whole hair down to a 1.5, which is something I shouldn't have done. Even though I cut the whole head down to a 1.5, that area looks shorter and it looks thinner. Not because I'm going bald, it's just that area grows slower than the rest of my hair. So basically what I did is I reached out to Wavy Longway and we had a nice conversation and he told me the same thing. You need to wolf your crown for a very long time. And he told me past six months. So I knew that back then and I didn't make it applicable now to my current situation. So that's why I'm making it applicable now. So this next picture is nine months later when I, when I got a 1.5. Now throughout that nine months, I was cutting my hair, but I wasn't cutting my crown. I was just keeping my crown as thick as possible. So keeping my hair thick, I started to notice waves in my crown maybe about five or six months in but they weren't as developed as the rest of my head so what i did was i went a few more months and i finally cut down to 1.5 as you guys can see the waves are there my crown looks similar to the rest of my head there are a few areas still that i cut a little bit too low but as a whole you can see i have a pretty dope crown in this picture looking at my crown now you guys can see that it's the same process i have waves all around my head but in the crown area is looks thinner so the challenge to myself now is to go about six to nine months without touching my crown period the only thing i'm going to do is brush my crown that's it i'm not cutting it i'm not trimming it i'm not doing anything to it because i need my crown to come in i need the waves to come in 
how I want them to. My pattern will look so much more complete if I had a fuller crown, but without a fully connected crown, your pattern just looks regular and it won't be elite. So if you have a crown trouble, my suggestion to you is make sure you find your crown, brush it in the direction that you want it to go, and then do not cut it or trim it for the next six to nine months. All right guys, so that's all I have for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, comment down below. Or if you guys want to talk to me directly, hit me here on my Instagram. I respond to everybody. So don't feel like you can't hit me up. I'm going to respond to you. It may not be as soon as you send a message, but it will be within a few hours or a few, maybe a few minutes if I'm on Instagram. It just depends. If you guys like this video and want to see more content like this, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to subscribe yet. And if you are subscribed, turn on the bell for post notifications because I'm going to be coming out with a lot of videos because... I got something I want to tell you guys, but I'm not going to say it yet. But just be on the lookout for a lot of videos. Trust me, it's about to go down. I promise you all that. So, don't forget guys, love is love. Shout out to the nation, that's my squad. Peace.